Now you got $120,000 and you only use your TransUnion credit bureau, all right? What's going on, Big Bang family? It's your boy, Big Bang Joe. And today, we're gonna be talking about some institutions that you can get fifty to $100,000 in credit cards from because they give out high limit credit cards off rip. Like, as soon as you apply for them, you can get a high limit credit card, right? You don't have to be in the game for that long. And excuse me if I'm talking kind of weird. I got my Invisalign in my mouth, so it kind of affects how I speak. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know that you're new here. Not only do you need to let me know that you're new here, you need to smash that like button, punch that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bells, because you're gonna be dropping videos just like this, giving y'all straight game, straight value, and you don't wanna miss it. But if you've been here before, as y'all know, I don't like my time being wasted, so I'm not here to waste yours. So we're gonna get right to the game, all right? So I recently made a video about how you can build out your credit profile so you can basically bulletproof your profile so you'll stop getting denied, right? A lot of people build a credit profile out and they don't necessarily build it out the right way. Like some people, they'll get a bunch of trade lines thrown in their credit report. They just don't have enough on their credit report to get high limit credit cards. They wonder why they get denied. And the reason why is because your profile is not built out the right way. So I have a video on that. I'm gonna leave it down in the description. Y'all make sure y'all go check that out. Your reason for building out your profile really is to get funding, right? I teach y'all how to leverage your personal credit to get business credit, to get access to hundreds of thousands of dollars in funding. But first and foremost, you wanna think about getting personal credit because if you have high limit personal credit cards, when you go to the business side, they're automatically gonna see that you have high limit personal credit card. Once they see that, they're gonna see you can maintain a large amount of money and credit, right? So on the business side, they're nine times out of 10, they're gonna give you two to three times more than what they do on the personal side. For example, if you get a $10,000 personal credit card and they see you have a $10,000 personal credit card, let's use Bank of America an example. They're gonna see that you have a $10,000 personal credit card. So on the business side, when you go apply for business credit, they're gonna give you a $30,000 credit card. So you wanna have high limit personal credit cards. When I say high limit, I mean, I, I would range between 5,000, nothing less than 5,000, all right? I like 10,000, um, but I will range between nothing less than 5,000, all right? So I'm gonna give y'all some institutions and some credit cards that y'all can go for today. If you build your credit profile the right way, it's gonna give you at least $5,000, right? Um, just from my experience, right? They give out high limits. The first institution I'm gonna talk about is SCCU, all right? SCCU is State Employees Credit Union of Maryland, all right? So they have different SCCUs, but I'm talking about specifically of Maryland. They also have Pennsylvania State Employees Credit Union, but we're gonna talk about SECU, all right? So SECU give out high limit credit cards, right? They give out $20,000 credit cards. They give out $30,000 credit cards. And if you build out your profile the right way, they're gonna give you a $20,000 credit card. So you go to one bank and they give you 20,000, that's just one bank, all right? So you can go to SECU and they pull from Equifax. So the next institution you wanna go to is Upgrade, right? Upgrade, they do personal loans. I made a video about the personal loans, but they also have a credit card. And they also have a pre-qualification on a credit card. So you can do a pre-qualification, they'll pre-qualify you for a credit card, and they give out very high limits as well. Another institution, it's a credit union. And I, you know, y'all know how I feel about credit unions, right? Um, I'm gonna talk about a bunch more about credit unions in other videos, and I have a bunch of videos about credit unions, but credit unions, they give out higher limits, and they lend to people uh, more if you have bad credit. I don't recommend always applying with bad credit, but you have a better chance of applying uh, at a credit union and get approved with bad credit than you do at a bank, because credit unions, like I said, they're more likely to lend to you with bad credit. All right, so the next one I'm gonna talk about is Alliant Credit Union, okay? Alliant Credit Union is another place that gives out high limit credit cards, right? Um, you can get a, a high limit credit card with them and they pull from Equifax, all right? As y'all just seen, I named three institutions that give out high limit credit cards and they all pull from Equifax. And I also made a video about credit stacking. Um, this is another strategy you can use. You basically go for the institutions that pull from certain credit bureaus. Like you go for three that pull from Equifax, you go for three that pull from TransUnion, you go for three that pull from Experian, right? I just gave y'all three that pull from Equifax. So imagine if you go get a $20,000 credit card from each of them at $60,000 total and you just use one credit bureau. Now you have two other credit bureaus you can utilize, all right? So this is how you maximize your funding. So I just gave y'all three uh, institutions to go to to get high limit credit cards and they always give out high limit credit cards off rip. Now, I do recommend this after you use the strategy I gave you to build out your credit profile. I don't wanna go into everything I've mentioned because that's a whole nother video. I made that video already. Again, I'm gonna leave it in the description, so check it out. So the next institution I'm gonna tell you is Marcus by Goldman Sachs, okay? So Marcus by Goldman Sachs, 
is not necessarily Goldman Sachs. They're just backed by Goldman Sachs. So Marcus is the company and they also have a, a soft pool pre-qualification, okay? So you can go to the, this company and get a soft pool pre-qualification and you can see if you're approved before you even apply, all right? Um, they pull from TransUnion, okay? They pull from TransUnion and you can get multiple credit cards from them, right? They have several personal credit cards that you get. You can also get multiple ones, all right? So I, you can go to them and actually get two credit cards. You can get a credit card for 10,000 and another credit card for 10,000. So imagine you go to them and get two credit cards for 10,000. You got $20,000 with one institution. And again, they pull from TransUnion. And I got a hack that I'm gonna mention at the end of the video. So keep keep watching, I got y'all. I'm gonna put y'all how y'all can get that card with just the software, okay? Now we're gonna talk about the Apple card. The Apple card also pulls from TransUnion, okay? It's a TransUnion pool, and you can also get that with a soft pool. I'm gonna talk about how you can get that with just the soft pool, right? Uh, it's gonna be a hard pool if you do it originally. But even if you get a hard pool for these credit cards, I, I just told you GM is a soft pool pre-qualification, and I just told you you can get um, Apple card. It's a soft pool pre-qualification, but they're gonna pull you after you accept it, right? Let's say you get approved for like 10,000 on one of these cards. If you accept it, they're gonna pull you, hard pull your TransUnion. But you can get it with a soft pool, but think about this. If you get three credit cards with Equifax, that pull from Equifax, you already got $60,000 with Equifax, you know what I'm saying? Um, just from the example I gave you. Now you go to TransUnion, and you get uh, 10, 000, two $10,000 credit cards with GM, and then you get uh, another $10,000 credit card with Apple, right? You got $30,000 in credit. If you get a hard inquiry, so be it, right? You wanna, get these hard inquiries based on you knowing you getting approvals, right? Hard inquiries aren't really that relevant when it comes to your credit, right? You, A lot of people stress about hard inquiries, but they're not that important. Of course, you don't wanna have 30, 40 hard inquiries, but well, if you got a good credit profile, as I mentioned in my video that y'all need to tune into, you're gonna be straight, right? Hard inquiries are gonna be minuscule compared to your credit profile, all right? Um, and you also, another institution you got is Navy Federal Credit Union. Uh, I love Navy Federal Credit Union. You can get several high, high limit credit cards, right? And you can have bad credit and they can start you off with a $20,000 credit card. Um, I got a video on how to join Navy Federal if you're not military affiliated. Um, Y'all yeah, need to go check that out if you wanna join Navy Federal, but you can get three credit cards, three personal credit cards, three high limit personal credit cards with Navy Federal. Uh, you can have three at a time and um, they you can total up to eighty thousand in credit limits, okay? And you can get up to fifty thousand on three of the cards. You get eighty thousand on one card, okay? So this is another institution you can go to, and you can actually have bad credit and get approved with, uh, with an institution. Uh, I talk about being in a relationship with Navy Federal all the time, but I'm not gonna go too much in detail with this video. But Navy Federal also pulls from TransUnion. So let's say you get twenty thousand from GM, you get twenty thousand dollars from Apple, and let's just for um. For the fun of it, let's say you get the accumulative limit of eighty thousand with Navy Federal. Now you can get you you're not gonna get this right off rip, but you can get this over time, and it's possible for anybody to do it with bad credit, no credit, or good credit, right? So let's say you get so you got forty thousand from GM and from Apple Card, and you get eighty thousand from Navy Federal. Um, now you got one hundred twenty thousand dollars, and you only use your TransUnion credit bureau. All right. So now let's talk about how you can get the GM card and the uh, Apple Card with just a soft pool. Okay. So what you do is you will go through the pre-qualification process. Now I've made a video about the Apple card and the GM card, so you can go check them out as well. But you wanna go through the pre-qualification process. And if you don't know what a pre-qualification is, they basically tell you if you got the highest chance of being approved before you apply, right? So you'll, you'll put in a pre-qualification, they won't pull your credit, they'll just soft pull you, and they'll tell you if you get approved. And, it's, and then most of the times they'll give you a limit. All right, like for, for example, Apple, they'll say you're pre-qualified for $10,000 with the Apple card, right? If you wanna accept your offer. And the same thing with GM. So but once you accept that offer, they're gonna pull your TransUnion, right? And it's gonna be a hard pull. And you're gonna get an inquiry. So what you would do is, once you get that pre-qualification offer, you wanna go download the TransUnion app or go to the TransUnion website or call up TransUnion. I don't know if they got an app, but you go to the website. And what you would do is, once you have that offer, you wanna freeze your credit report. After you freeze your credit report, you wanna go back and accept the offer, right? You can do this with GM and you can do this with Apple and you can do this at the same exact time and you can avoid um, getting an inquiry. You wanna freeze it and then accept the offer. Once you freeze it and accept the offer, you're gonna get the credit card with no hard pull. And then once you wanna leave your uh, credit report frozen for, uh, I, I, I say five business days, I say that, so they don't go back and pull your credit, right? This is just for safety precautions so they don't pull you. Right, but even if they pull you, it's all good, right? You got 
so much funding from these institutions just from using the credit stacking method, which is going to each bureau and getting certain credit cards, right? I didn't make a video, I didn't talk about any experience credit cards, but I gave you three that you can get from Equifax and I gave you three that you can get from TransUnion, all right? So I just gave y'all the game on once you build your profile the right way, how to get high limit personal funding so that you can transition into business funding. Because again, they're going to give you two to three times on the business side of what you have on the personal side. So I have six figures in personal funding and I have limits of 30,000, uh, 35,000. I get, I can get $50,000 credit card because they see that I maintain good balances and good limits and I, and I use it the right way. Right. So you can do the same thing if you get high limit personal credit cards and use them the right way. All right. We use the, we use this uh these strategies so we can get personal credit get business credit invest to our business so we can get rich so i appreciate everybody watching i hope y'all got some gems from this information i just gave y'all a lot of people don't usually talk about it but you know i'm giving y'all the game because i went through it i've been able to do it and you know I, I love to share this information with everybody else all right so i appreciate everybody watching and always remember the top ain't going nowhere you just got to get there let's get it be how to go and get it steady grinding just behind the scene i've been on a mission Got a touch of him by any means Shit, we can go high five